In this video, we're gonna look at comparisons between ray traced shadows on versus off in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now, if you're all new, hey, my name is Robin. So, recently, Shadow of the Tomb Raider got the highly anticipated patch update that introduces ray tracing in the game. And yeah, we got DLSS as well, Deep Learning Super Sample, which basically is a super sampling technique that is using deep learning to ultimately create a better looking picture. It is supposed to put less stress on the hardware than T. AA and SMAA, but so far it hasn't been that impressive. Now, Nvidia has told us that DLSS takes time to become more attractive as the deep learning machine is constantly learning and becoming better. Still, though, I think it would be interesting to give it a try in Shadow of the Tomb Raider now that the game support is so. And activating DLSS definitely helps the frame rate out. Still, it is a bit blurry, but I think it looks a bit better than what it did in metro at least now on the left hand side you guys can see the frame rate and you will find the full specifications of the machine i'm running on down in the description and the latest driver has been used here now ray tracing is very complex and we have seen examples where it can tank the frame rate quite a lot for example ray tracing activated in metro exodus takes a huge hit on the frame rate especially if you choose the ultra preset and so to try and render a whole game using real-time ray tracing would be Possible in Battlefield 5, for example, dice choose to focus on reflections. In Metro, they focused on light, and in this game, Square Enix has decided to focus on the shadows. Now, in terms of performance, activating the XR takes a hit on the frame rate, but it's not that devastating if you leave ray tracing shadows at normal. But if you put it on ultra and try to run the benchmark on this machine, it looks more like a movie than a game, to be frank. And so on this system, the the RTX 2060 is enough to run the game maxed out in 1080p with pretty good results with leaving ray tracing at normal. Now quite honestly I cannot see much of a difference between shadows set to normal and RTX shadows set to ultra but I'll leave it at that guys. I'll let the video roll and you can decide for yourself. I want to know your thoughts in the comments guys. I got more videos covering RTX and more graphics cards related videos down in the description. Have a look at that. I'm gonna be back with a brand new video in just a day or two until then have an awesome day right Come on, just do it. Wait, wait. I I'm a government official. I'm supposed to be here. Not anymore, Mr. Lead Archaeologist. Your employment has been terminated. Please, no. I have money. I have <laughs> Jonah, Trinity just tried to kill a local archaeologist. Oh, God. I have to find what they're looking for. This is Commander Rourke. Hey. All teams, get ready for Operation Blackout. I know this figure. Ishal, the goddess of... I've got to make my way down.